Hi everybody! I'm doing a five minute session for Johannes. This is the fourth session. You're gonna have to check out the other three. This has been a very interesting saga. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals for the session today and then we'll see what happens, okay? Okay. My goals are to find out why I'm still stuck at different points. There's still much that I experience feel but that I can't change even though I can slowly start to work with love. I hope you can help me to overcome the block, riddle, whatever it might be. And can you take a look at my golden orbs? Basically, parts of myself. Four to five of them should now be integrated. I would like to receive a confirmation if it worked. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and relax here and get connected. Okay. Give me a moment here. This is a really interesting sort of energy shift right now. Okay, I will say I'm I was thinking I would go straight into the golden orbs, but I'm I'm actually running into kind of a it's hot. It's like spicy hot. Uh, like lava hot and there's a density here. I'm at the edge of a cliff This is overlooking a lava a lot of lava and there's one dense heavy orb that I'm looking at right now and I can see through it It's a very interesting energy that I feel right now <laughs> All right, we're working between two frequencies one is I'm going to throw you into the lava and let you sink to the bottom. I don't really care. The other is, what are you doing here? <laughs> so those are my two reactions. <laughs> Just give me a moment while I explore the inspiration. You're stuck. That's what you are. And this one orb, you're inside of it, and the, it's as if you created a bicycle mechanism, and the, the part of, instead of there being two wheels on both sides, it's like propellers, like it's supposed to be some sort of flying contraption, but this entire thing is stuck on the cliff itself. So, and I say, why, why are you here? What are you doing here? I'm just dissolving all this entirely. You are making incredible progress, I will tell you that, because from where we were, with the destruction of everything, putting it all back the way that it was, and bringing in everything into balance, I will say this is a huge step up from that. Believe it or not, this is a huge step forward. <laughs> you're, I can feel you're getting out of the imprisonment energy because you're actively participating in experiences. And you're thriving. You're having fun with it. You're trying to make sense of it. I have no idea what we're, what this is about right here, but I am called to show this to you and to alleviate you from the circumstances. I still want to find the golden orbs, but let's just see what I can do to help you with this. This is important. And it's not like I can just take you out of here because you're attached to the place. So I have to help you self-realize your own attachment so you can let go. And when you let go of the attachment, then I can take you out of here. Or you could take yourself out of here. And let me see. I'm slowing the energy down. I'm not slowing it until time stops. I'm just slowing it way down. You're very sad, actually. When I slow the energy down, I can feel a lot of sorrow. This space with the lava, it is a reflection of some part of your energy field. I'm still trying to put my finger on it. I want to say that it would be located around the emotional gut region, heart. Emotional gut, heart region. This is 
a very important thing that I'm looking at here. We don't know a whole lot about it, but I can tell the energy about this is a big deal. So I'm just going to continue to slow the vibes down. Not to stop time, but to just slow time. I've almost helped you to get out of this. And I, I tell this part of you, it's okay to let go of what you started. It's okay to come over here where I'm standing. And when you do, you've already come over to where I'm standing and I give you a really big hug. You look like a boy and I look like a mother. And I'm a mother hugging my son is what it's like. And I tell you that I'm proud of you. And I want you to know that it's okay to stop for a moment and to let the entire universe just be still. So you are. You're absolutely doing that with me. And believe it or not, in stillness, time goes faster. It's, it's so weird to say that, but... In this experience of stillness, I actually feel as though we have gone through thousands of lifetimes just that fast. Even though we're in stillness, even though it feels as though time has slowed down, it's actually going faster than you could imagine. It's almost like somebody who has a, um, like a hyperactive and they take Ritalin. They, the hyperactive person needs to be sped up in order to slow down. So there's something weird about pace, speed. You know, there's a lot of illusions going on with this. I'm going to stay in here for just a little bit longer, okay? This is going to help you tremendously, Johannes, because it is creating stillness and peace in your energy field. It's actually healing your heart tremendously. There's something new I'm tapping into here with your soul and your soul is holding on to uh, what was a task that never was completed, but you're trying to complete it in other lifetimes, but it's as if you aren't, you're not accessing the original, um, the original blueprints, the original plans. So you're trying to figure it out what it was, but you're never able to get back to the same caliber that you once were. And this is bothering you deep down inside. And I will say, I'm just going to say this, that in that lifetime, it was quite substantial. So I don't know what it was about. I don't know what you were doing, but what it was that you were building or creating, and it could be yourself, your own identity, was a substantial thing. And then you have lifetimes here where you recall something big but you can't remember what that was all about and you're trying to retrace your tr tracks and your steps to get back to where you once were, but you're not able to reach that caliber. <laughs> it's so weird. So I'm telling you to let it go. You have no idea. I've come across lifetimes where I would love to be that person again because that person was just way too out of this world, but I'm also okay not being that person. There's a reason why I'm not that person. There's a reason why I am this person. And I don't have to ever aspire to be anything more or, or consider that version of myself better than this version of myself. I can see that just out of respect and peace and admiration, but still be proud to be me. And you should be proud to be you. Because once you're proud to be you, you will discover something, okay? And you're, you're figuring this out, I can tell already, because your energy field is a lot more responsive. It's a lot more peaceful. I can feel more warmth in your heart. And I can tell that this little blip of energy work is actually helping your heart expand and creating frequency waves of peacefulness, okay? All right, that's all I got. Thank you so much, Johannes. It's a real pleasure. I know a lot of people here watching the sessions are really going to enjoy all the follow-ups. And if, for those of you who are just uh, experiencing this session for the first time, I'll put links so you can access the other sessions um, and get caught up. <laughs> all right. I want to thank you all for watching. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, please visit me at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I wish you all a great day.